guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to do the fall favorites tag. This is the tag that Jacqueline Hill has kind of started and she has encouraged all her viewers to do it. So, hey Jacqueline, I'm gonna be sending you a link. <laughs> um, so I thought this was cool to do because my channel's very young and I just started it and I've never done a tag. So I figured, hey, oh, why not? It's fall, everybody loves fall. And the items in the, in the list were actually kind of cool. So I said, why not? So the first item I'm just gonna grab my list over here. So the first item is favorite candle. And it's all fall theme, right? So I had to blow it out, so I'm gonna be careful. Cause I was burning this. Uh, oh, I just totally ruined it. Anyway, this is the Farmside Apple. I absolutely adore this. It smells like you're in an orchard. You are actually going apple picking and it's beautiful outside, there's a bit of wind, it's uh, bright, there's sun, there's wind, you just smell the apples in the air, that's what this smells like. Absolutely adore it, absolutely adore it. I also really enjoy Marshmallow Fireside. When I went last time, they didn't have any uh, in stock, and I know they come out more also near Christmas, and I actually really enjoy that around Christmas time. So this is more fall for me, and then Marshmallow Forest Fireside reminds me a bit more of later fall, closer to Christmas. So next is the favorite lip color for fall. So I am wearing one of them, and this is, this is it right here. This is the Too Faced Liquefied Long Wear Lipstick, the Melted, Too Faced Melted Lipsticks, and this is a mel Melted Fig. I love a purple kind of lip for the for the fall. I find, I, I use, I don't love reds, except maybe like a wine kind of red, but this purple is life. I just absolutely adore this purple. And it doesn't have to be like this exact one, it just happens to be the, one of my favorite ones I own. There is one I've been looking at in the drugstore and it's a, it's a Revlon Lustrous lipstick. Super cheap, like as far as, price. Um, I forgot what the name of it is. Anyway, but I am going to get myself a nice purple lip from the drugstore, but I absolutely love purple lips for this season, and this is one of my favorite ones. Another color that I actually adore is this By Beauty Shiraz, and if you saw my fall um, lipsticks, you saw this color, and I was wearing it, and it is oh, right here. I adore this color. This is perfect for an everyday fall lip. Like for every day for work, this will be probably my go-to. I absolutely adore this in the fall. It's a little dark nude than during the summer and it just kind of nice transition into the fall season. Favorite drink. So drink, I'm not a big latte person or any kind of those, you know, Starbucks-y things they come out with, this pump, pumpkin spice and all that stuff. That's not me. I just really love, especially as as it gets a little colder, um, especially here in Canada, I just love a hot coffee. Just just a plain old coffee. And my favorite thing to do around this time and maybe a little closer to Christmas is to have a nice coffee next to the fire um, on those cold fall days that are either wet or just too like dampy kind of cold. To sit next to the fire, have a wonderful coffee and have a gingerbread cookie. Perfect, absolute heaven, relaxation, love it. Favorite blush. So this is a hard category. I had to go through my blushes and I'm like, no, I can't just pick two. One? <laughs> Actually, I picked two, even though it's supposed to be one. Um, so this was in my September favorites. This is the Clinique Cheek Pop in Heather Pop. Just because it's a perfect neutral color, it's a, not that it's that much darker than a regular blush, but it's just perfect. For me, I just find that I can wear this with anything. Ooh, it goes well with Shiraz, which is great for me. <laughs> um, I absolutely adore this, and I'm gonna wear this year round. I just thought maybe for fall it'd be nice, nice neutral. But if I'm going with something that's that I would probably wear just around fall, it would probably be the the Hourglass Ambient Blush in Mood Exposure. This baby, I don't have anything else of this color. And you can see it's a bit darker. It's more purple, I guess, mauve, than this one that is more pink. 
and I think this is perfect for the fall. Absolutely adore this blush. So my favorite clothing items, so absolutely adore this time of year for clothes. It's a time of year where you can you can wear, you know, long pants, a nice booty, which was, was super close to being my favorite clothing item. So I love flats, I love, you know, ones with a little heel, I love the platform ones, because they can go with anything, jeans, dresses, whatever you want. Um, my favorite item has to be scarves. I love wearing scarves because it's, I find they're comfortable, they're cozy, and you just, you know, it, it feels, starts to feel cool outside, so you want to wear something warmer on your neck. And I'm talking about, you know, scarves that I can wear in the office as well, so this, I just absolutely love it. They're just like the comfort item, the feel-great comfort item of the season for me. Favorite fall movie? This was a tough one because I don't really categorize movies as, other than Christmas movies, as, you know, fall movies, spring movies, etc. My favorite movie for fall? Something more Halloween-ish kind of thing? Probably like The Craft. Um, I'll put that on in the background. It's one of those things that as you know, a teenager, a little, a little crazed over, you know, as an adult now, it's like, it's kind of a fun kind of background movie to put on just because it's like nostalgic. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's probably the only thing that kind of comes to mind when I thought about favorite fall movie. TV show. Okay, so I know that a lot of people love, you know, those network shows and scandal and all that, but I am a total geek, so I adore Doctor Who. I never, never thought that that would be a show that I would fall in love with. Even though I'm a geek at heart, and if actually, if I were to spin the camera around, you would see all the geeky things on my wall. Maybe one day I'll show you but or in this corner too <laughs> but i was like my, my husband's like oh let's watch Doctor Who and i'm like really i mean this guy in a box travels and meets aliens and it's really lame oh my god not even close to being lame it is so well written you never know where they're going and some somehow everything kind of intertwines and connects and you're like you're like mind blown I don't even know how they do it. It's so well written. It really has a lot of depth. It has a lot of emotions. It has a lot of... It has everything my geeky heart absolutely loves. New season just restarted, so I'm pretty excited about that. Thanksgiving food. Well, if you guys know, for us Canadians, Thanksgiving is in early October. While I think it's the Columbus Day in the States, um, we so it's I think this year October 13th is Thanksgiving, and we still do the turkey and the stuffing and the potatoes and the gravy and the turkey and all of that. It's just not as big of a holiday as it is in the States, but we still love the food, let's be honest. So, I would say that my favorite Thanksgiving food. It's probably the mashed potatoes and gravy. Yeah, love me some some mashed potatoes and gravy. And we usually go depending on what side of the family, either my husband's side or my side, but they all make like different variation of gravies and they're so good. They're so good with mashed potatoes. Mm. Love it. Love it. And then the favorite Halloween costume. So. It's too bad I don't have a picture to show you guys, and I don't even have one online. I don't think we ever took one, which, why didn't we? I don't know. But we have um, these friends, um, their name are Justin and Kat. And Justin is a bit of a hipster, and he's got kind of a different style, sort of, not totally hipster, but he, his style is a bit more on the hipster side. And his wife is Kat, uh, which is the complete opposite look of me, um, completely in every sense. So I couldn't really. So what we wanted to do, the idea was to dress up as them for Halloween. Um, so my husband got you know the, the hipster thing going on, which is totally not what he usually dresses up as. It was hilarious, he looked just like him. And we had put name tags, you know, he had Justin on, on his shirt. And said, well, I can't really dress up as Kat. There's nothing really discerning about her, like, oh, Justin's a hipster, easy. You know, I can't say, oh, she's a goth, I'll dress up like her. No, I'm not even close. So I just dressed up as a cat. 
So I had cat ears and everything, and I had my name tag saying cat, so we were Justin and Cat. Hey, we won, we won the best couple costume that night. Just saying. <laughs> anyway, that was my fall favorite stat, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I mean, this was kind of cool and fun to do and kind of different. Um, I mean, I guess you learned quite a, maybe a couple things about me that maybe you didn't know before. I hope you enjoyed this and I encourage everybody to do this tag because I'm definitely going to look it up and see who else does this tag because it's always fun to see in the fall and it's also something different that um, is, you know, different than just the beauty looks and the makeup looks and that sort of thing on, on YouTube right now. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Leave your favorites down below or send me the links to your videos and I'll check them out and I hope you have a great night or evening. Talk to you later, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks, bye. We're going to do the fall makeup tag. Today we're going to do the fall tag. Oh, great job, Nat. Great, great job.